12 Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson Chapter 1. Get to the top of the pecking order You've heard of the phrase, the pecking order, right? It's commonly used in conversation, but do you know how it originated? It was coined by Norwegian zoologist Thorleif Schelderup Ebba, who was studying barnyard chickens during the 1920s and observed a clear hierarchy among the birds. When it was feeding time, he noticed that the strongest, healthiest chickens ate first and forced the sick or timid ones to wait until there were only scraps left. This, of course, ensured that the strong chickens retained their advantage while their counterparts only grew weaker. The same is true with other species of animals as well. Lobsters, for example, exhibit similar behaviors whether they've been raised in captivity or in the world, proving that their sense of the pecking order is innate rather than a learned behavior. In fact, scientists have observed that lobsters instigate aggressive fights to compete for the best shelter spots, and that this actually changes their biology. For example, winners possess a stronger ratio of serotonin octopamine, while the ratio is reduced for lobsters who commonly lose. This means that the hormone advantage causes winning lobsters to stay stronger and healthier, in addition to exhibiting a confident posture. By contrast, their counterparts become more timid and curl up out of fear. And as you've probably observed, this behavior is frequently mimicked by humans as well. People who frequently win at life become emboldened by their winning streak, and this causes them to pursue new challenges with confidence. In fact, that confidence is often what enables them to generate further success. Likewise, those who are in the grip of depression or feel that life is never in their favor are more risk-averse and tend to approach each situation as though they already know they will fail. This in turn becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that reinforces their bleak worldview. So, if you're trying to get ahead in life or break a toxic cycle, the best advice we can give you is, think like a lobster, strike that confident pose to tell people you're a winner, and keep faking it till you make it.